Welcome back. This is a quick video explaining what you should look for in an artist portfolio. But before we do that, don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button as I want to get this channel off the ground. So let's jump straight into the video. First, let's talk about editing pictures. When you were online and Instagram and you're looking at artist pictures, a lot of them are edited. Not everybody does, but a lot of people do. Um, the problem with this is it's false. It's false because when the tattoo heals, it's not going to look like the edited picture. Artists do this for a number of reasons. It's mainly young artists that do black and grey. When you do a fresh black and grey tattoo, it's usually red um, or sepia colour. So when we've snapped the picture, I don't do it personally, but when the when it's been snapped, you filter it, turn the contrast down, and it smooths it out and makes it look black and grey. It makes it, the tattoo look better than it actually is. This is wrong in my eyes. Um, you should always take a fresh picture and post it how it is. And even better, get an eel picture and post that. Or a side-by-side -side comparison saying fresh and healed. But the best way, the best advice I can give you for looking through a portfolio is yes, look online, find the artist that you like, then schedule a consultation with them. This way you can go through the portfolio in person. And when you're doing this, you want to ask a number of questions. Is the tattoo fresh? Is it healed? How long did it take? And a few other things you want to be looking for. If you've got line work in the tattoo, look for solid, crisp, consistent lines all through the piece. The same with shading. You don't want to see any choppy needle marks or choppy shading. You want smooth, buttery shading. And when looking at the colour, you don't want to see any washed out patchy colour. You want to see vibrant, solid fields of colour that pop and jump out at you. Also, you want consistency. Let's say you're going for a portrait. You don't want to see a portrait to portrait, some traditional, all different stuff mixed up. You want consistency all through the portfolio. Um, this will tell you that the artist is a specialised artist and it, they don't just dabble. They do them portraits day in, day out. Because if you go to somebody with a mixed portfolio, they might be good, but they won't be better than somebody that practices that style all day every day so that's what you want to look for in a portfolio now if you like this video don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button i'd be grateful